Probably most of the patrons who've gone in and out of the Manchester Community Library haven't noticed or paid much attention to the gray fence that marked the end of the library's backyard. That may change after a group of students from Burn Burton Academy got to work on Wednesday, May 11th, to convert it into something far more colorful and eye-catching. BBA art teacher and Harrod Llewellyn explains. Well, our 10th grade service learning day is today from, Bur from Bur Burton Academy. And so I have a tremendous group of 12 artists who I've brought together. We're creating a beautiful mural across this fence here at the Manchester Community Library. So uh, what's it all What's it all going to be? It looks like a bunch of uh, flowers apparently yes. in the end. So Paige has been bringing some great um, programming to the library and we're talking about native plants from Vermont. So we've decided to take only Vermont native beautiful flowers and we're just going to spread it across this incredible uh, fence. Um, our goal is to at least have it sort of mostly done and then I might bring back some of our other students or art students to um, really put the finest, final details on it. So these students here are all volunteers? They're or? volunteering and we just sort of had them choose what area they'd like to work in. There's students all the way out at Riley Rink and there's Southern Vermont Art Center and Merck Forest and everyone is creating um, uh, just some sort of lasting beautification project for the community. So. I think this is going to be a really nice one. Paige Vignola, the library's assistant director for education and community engagement, gave us some more background. I wish I could claim ownership of the idea. It was not my idea. In fact, our building manager, Jennifer Amatruto, she decided that we need to do a library beautification process, and she suggested getting BBA over here. And I thought that was phenomenal, so I reached out to Anne Harrod to see if that was something that we could uh, do. It just also ties in with everything else that we're trying to orchestrate for the, the summer season. So we're, we're working on bringing awareness to natural habitat. We've got a lot of gardeners in the Manchester area, so we want to try and maybe direct some focus at, let's look at some native plants, let's look at native pollinators, let's look at avoiding invasives when, we, when, we're, when we're doing our planting. And so when I reached out to Anne Harrod about that, she said, absolutely, we can create a design that does all of that. So I'm really excited to see how this is going to turn out. I think it's going to make a world of difference for this formerly ugly brown fence that is going to be a work of art by the students. All the students have uh, been told that I, we really want them to tag it, make sure that they get their names into their artwork so that there's, like, there's a piece of them that they're leaving behind that everybody can know where, where the art comes from. The fence painting project is part of several events happening over the next few weeks at the library. Well, we actually have a whole bunch of events coming up this summer. Um, the first of the events involving native plants is going to be, well, after today, is going to be on Wednesday of next week where we've got a bunch of different people coming in to talk about demystifying seeds and seed planting 101. So we've got Scout, Scout Croft is coming over. We've got uh, Maria Reed coming over. We've got Ann Hasselin coming over. And they're all going to be talking about what it means in order to, with a process that's necessary in order to be able to start seed saving. So that's the first of our events and that's next Wednesday night. And then we've got a homegrown, uh, hometown habitat movie that we're gonna be showing here that's all about what individuals can do in their own backyards in order to be able to um, be a, you know, like a, a, a natural plant warrior, right? I mean, how can you help in your own backyard sustain the, the natural plants and the pollinators? On June 4th is another big event that we've got going on and that's gonna be out here starting at 10.30 in the morning and we're gonna be planting a pollinator garden, which was a project that was started last year before the winter came and it has been sitting and ready to start up again. So that's, uh, we've got um, UVM uh, Master Gardeners, the UVM Extension Master Gardeners from Bennington coming. They've designed the garden for us. Um, we've got the plugs from the plants that are coming from the Hildeen Farm. Um, and we're gonna have um, discussion about what are the native plants and what types of plants are necessary and how that is able to connect say national parks um, to other national parks in order to be able to create a larger swath of land that is suitable to native pollinators. Without pollinators we have no food so we need to make sure we keep up on that. Um, we are also going to have um, a live hive here so there's going to be a beekeeper in order to be able to do some talking about the process uh, um, you know, with beekeeping as well as uh, how that ties into uh, the natural habitat. And we're gonna have some events for kids too. So there's gonna be native plant pollinator planting. Um, we're gonna have the community come in and plant the plugs that we're getting from Hildeen. 
So that is going to be uh, hopefully a really fun event that's going to be, that's June 4th, starting at 10.30 in the morning. Things are moving rapidly along as the painters got to work over the morning. Bye-bye, boring gray fence. For the GNET TV News Project, I'm Andrew McKeever.